Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the second day of our Georgia road trip. We just had breakfast at the hotel. Now we're gonna leave the hotel and we're gonna go to a swamp called Okefenokee. I have no idea what to expect, but it sounds pretty interesting and uh, it should be fun. Also, I left my camera battery charger in the car last night, so my battery might die at any minute because Canon G7X batteries don't last that long and um, if they that suck. happens, I'm just gonna have to film on my phone. So I'm really sorry guys, I'm the worst vlogger ever. We are now at the Okefenokee Swamp. We're trying to figure out where to go right now. We're just looking at this little like board thing to tell us information or look at the alligators that we'll probably see in the swamp. And um, we're going on a boat tour, right guys? That's right. That should be exciting. Watch out for those giant water pythons to try to get up in the boat. Oh, don't tell me that. Gosh, there's already like a Ooh, huge bug that right ant. here. Oh. That's the biggest ant I've ever seen. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! Big girl, big down here, no kifanoki. Wow, we like loaded up on bug spray just so we don't like. That's like a ground wasp. That yeah. is That's so like gross. Ew. Capturing the moment <laughs> before our entrance into the Okefenokee Swamp. Let's hope we don't die. <laughs> I'm hoping I'll get eaten by a gator. Oh, that's a great thought. <laughs> Okefenokee Adventures, ready to go. Ready to go. Okefenokee. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they're round, and I'll tell you what I know about them. First people who lived here were the Native Americans, experts that studied these things, tell us they were here as early as four. Look at Sam's tiny life jacket that he has to wear. Sam, turn around. <laughs> I love it. First of all, the word Okefenokee is an old Indian word. Translated means land of the trembling earth. The Okefenokee Swamp here is the largest inland freshwater swamp in North America. It's just a little bit smaller than the state of Rhode Island. Guys, like, oh my gosh, aren't they cute? Creepy. An old abandoned <laughs> storefront. Uh, so we got off of our little um, swamp tour a while ago, and it was so much fun. I thought it was really pretty there, and we saw a bunch of cool little like alligators and tadpoles and turtles and stuff. And we loved our tour guide; he was really awesome. So now we are actually in Brunswick, Georgia. We're gonna get some lunch and walk around the city. And it's really cute so far, so well, I'll just take you Brunswick. with us. I think we're gonna eat at a place called Tipsy McSways. It's an interesting name, but Tipsy hopefully it tastes good. I mean, obviously you wanna have good food. But uh, here's some of the town so far. All right, tonight we're sleeping in um, St. Simon's. So, just a little update. Tipsy McSways, here we are. I think I'm gonna get the comfort combo, which is grilled cheese and a cup of tomato soup. That sounds perfect right now. We didn't say a word, we both went boing. My name's Joan. What's your name? Joan. Joan. Joan Wayne. Mama, you having a good time? I am. I'm glad to hear it. Are you pops? I'm having a good time. Good, you saying? Oh, thank you. Yum. Just gonna thank steal you. one. Right. Thank you. Look at how amazing this looks. I've never seen a grilled cheese so like puffy and amazing looking. Goodness gracious. <laughs> All right guys, we are gonna do the lemon challenge. So we each have a lemon from our waters. And the first one to make a face from the sourness loses. Three, two, one. No, you have to like bite into it. You know what my mom and I noticed? That whenever we come to a town here, it's usually empty, like we barely see any people here. I don't know if it's like a slow time, 
It's weird. It's weird. Like nobody's been on the streets. It's just like we're just walking alone, and then there's just people in the restaurants and stuff. It's kind of weird. But, but even the restaurants are kind of empty. Here we are in our hotel room. It's really, really nice in here. It's really clean and fresh. And then look outside. We've got a nice pool to go swim in, so I can't wait to do that. We're gonna be going down there pretty soon, I think. You know it's humid when your glasses start fogging up when you walk outside. Here we are at the pool. Look how nice it is. Beat my Birkenstock. We're gonna come check out this hot tub too. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so it hot. Right now. Yeah, it like hurts, it's so hot. Guys, look how spiffy my dad looks. I love the shorts, they've got little anchors on them. Right now, my hair is wet because it's still drying from it's the okay. pool and the shower. It looks kind of bad right now. Anyway, we are going to get some barbecue, right? This place is ranked by magazine Southern Living as the number one barbecue in the South. Yeah, we're excited. I'm still full from lunch though, so I don't know like how I'm gonna eat anything. Every time I vlog, I feel like you guys think we eat like every second, but it's that hours in between because I just don't <laughs> vlog every minute of the day. Yeah, but I love barbecue, it's one of my favorite foods ever, so I have to make some room at least. Ribs. Look at this pretty lighthouse. We're gonna go to the top if it's open. I put in a raw, unedited clip of the water for a while because like, I needed you guys to hear how peaceful it sounds. This sound is like one of my favorite sounds in the entire world. It just like makes me so calm and peaceful. What do you think? Things are soothing. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is like my happy place. Breeze, so uh, comfortable. You might not even be able to hear me because of all the wind. I'm in heaven right now. I could say. He's feeling it too. I'm happy. I love happy. you. Yes. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful here? It's so beautiful. I am in heaven right now. I know. Love you too, Daddy. Love you. My hair looks green. What the heck? St. Simon's is officially one of the cutest towns ever. We're walking around, just looking at the shops, and it's seriously so nice here. I love it. What do you think? I think it's really, it reminds me so much of uh, Cape Cod. Like Same. Let's look at the rainbow. It's so pretty. It's like pink in the sky. It's a pink streak. All right, here we are at Southern Soul Barbecue. It's supposed to be amazing. It was featured in Southern Living. And there's tons of people here, which is a good sign. So let's see how this barbecue really tastes. It was also featured on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, which is on Food Network. And so TLC I'm very excited. Oh my gosh, this place is famous. So we basically got a sampler of everything. This is brisket, right? Mac and cheese. Brisket, pulled pork, Brunswick stew. Brunswick stew, baked beans, collard greens, and the Pizza. same meats. And uh, we're just gonna share all of this. So we'll let you know how it tastes. It looks great. I'm always a big fan of vinegar-based barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna be putting that on my pork. Taste test for the mac and cheese. So good. What do you guys think? Outstanding. Outstanding? Yeah, this Brunswick stew is so, so good. Did you like it? I love it. The stew is, is the award winner. Mm. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's vlog. It's actually the next day, as you can probably tell. But I forgot to end it last night. We just got home from dinner and we were super tired and fell asleep. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. It was a really fun day. Make sure to subscribe for more vlogs on this road trip and I'll see you tomorrow.